George is walking down the sidewalk in the rain when he comes upon the address of 320 Sycamore. He stops to ponder if it is the right address because as he walks up, he sees it as an old-fashioned run-down house, unpainted and warped by the weather. He realizes that it is the old Granville house. He sees a faint glow of light shining from the bottom windows. On the back side of the house, unbeknownst to George, Bert and another man are working in the rain outside, sorting through travel posters. Hey, this is the company's posters and the company won't like this! How would you like to get a ticket next week? Haven't you got any romance in you? Sure, I had it, but I got rid of it! Liver pills? Who wants to see liver pills on their honeymoon? What they want is romantic places, beautiful places, places George wants to go! Hey, Bert! Here he comes! Come on, we gotta get this up! He's coming! Who? The groom, idiot! This is their honeymoon! Come on, get that ladder! What are they, ducks? Get that ladder up here! All right, up! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! I'm hurrying! George is approaching the front door of the house, on which a sign is hanging that reads, Bridal Suite. Ernie looks out through the curtain covering the broken glass of the front door. Hiya, George! Uh, 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 good evening, sir. Ernie opens the door, revealing himself as a homemade butler. As George enters the house, he gives Ernie a sly look. Ernie holds out his hand to take George's coat, and George leans downward to drip a cascade of rainwater from the brim of his hat into Ernie's hand. As George enters the foyer, he sees Mary beaming at him warmly from the next room. She is absolutely radiant in a sharp white dress. A huge fire is crackling in the fireplace. Nearby, a collection of packing boxes are heaped together in the shape of a small table and covered with a checkered cloth. It is set for two. A bucket with ice and a champagne bottle sit on the table, and also a small wedding cake. Two small chickens are impaled on a spit over the fire. A phonograph is playing on a box, and a string from the phonograph is turning the chickens on the spit. Travel posters advertising luxurious travel on the South Seas adorn the walls. George looks equally amazed and confused, both contemplating the beautiful scene Mary has created compared with the cobwebs and dilapidated condition of the house. Mary smiles at George, who has been slowly taking in the whole setup. Through a door, he sees the end of a cheap bed, over the back of which is a pair of pajamas and a nightie. Welcome home, Mr. Bailey. Ernie, who has been impatiently waiting for George to go over and greet Mary, gives him a little push towards his loving bride. Mary, Mary, where did you... Once they finish their song, Ernie pulls Bert's hat down and kisses his forehead. In return, Bert slams Ernie's butler top hat down on his head. <laughs> 